What's going on again, guys? Welcome to the episode of the E-Train Games, and today we're doing a pick video of the week. Now, I decided to do it a little early. Uh, I'm actually moving up uh, for where I am, where I work at, and uh, getting a promotion and a little more in my pay, so uh, it'll be kind of affecting my weekend. So I decided to do it a little earlier than normal. Um, I tried to hold on as long as I could, but uh, work-wise, it won't let me, so I decided to just do it today. Um, I changed a little bit in the back. You can tell I... Um, Whoops, I put my uh, 64 stuff, you know, all my 64 stuff games. My PS2 is down here, finally. Um, over here, I moved my 360 stuff here. Um, and down here, as you can see right here, um, I'm thinking about doing a PSP collection. Excuse me, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about doing it. I want to get a couple like Battlefront 2, and I kind of there's a couple more I want. So I might be doing that, really. So for right now, that's what I have. Underneath, I have my Dreamcast games, not many, just whatever I have. And then down here is my Lonely Wii game. Um, you know, for the most part, you know, I, I was cleaning out yesterday, so I decided to put them in different places. I might switch to 360 uh, with the GameCube or something above my, like right here, or my head right here. <laughs> um, I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but um, uh, I definitely beefed up uh, my NES collection at the moment. Uh, and I have some pretty good ones and other ones are not or just like so 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 um i kind of beefed up a lot uh, with what i got now so i'll start with this stack first uh so for this first stack i got this about four or five days ago let's say five days ago and um most of them are nes games uh there's five nes and a super nintendo uh as you can tell not many super nintendo stuff either and uh, so I decided to get one um only one caught my eye um which is wwf raw uh, wrestling's rudest and roughest. Um, I only played this game on the Genesis. I remember the Genesis version was actually pretty good. Uh, I never played on Super Nintendo, uh, so hopefully this game will be pretty good. I've heard good reviews on the Super Nintendo, so I'm hoping it'll be good. Uh, for the NES here, I got Wizards and Warriors. It's just the first one, unfortunately. I really want the second one, though, but I heard it's a lot more money. So for now, it's just the first one. Uh, the label right here is a little messed up, uh, but for the most part, it's in pretty good condition. So there's another one right here. Uh, right here, I got Gunsmoke on the NES. Beautiful cartridge. Uh, I actually never played it. I actually, someone told me about it at work, uh, so I decided to pick it up. Um... I don't really know anything about it, so I'll give it a try on later, uh, later on tonight, probably. One I've been on my list for a while, uh, the Goonies 2, nice, shiny cartridge. Um, don't know anything about this one either. I'm hoping it's good. I've heard good reviews, so hopefully it's good. Uh, another one's been on my list for a while now, um, and I finally got it, and that's uh, Jaws for the NES. Uh, I heard mixed reviews. Uh, I don't know. Hit or miss. Um... But either way, I uh, just don't have it yet. So, And the last one, I actually played this in an arcade when I was younger. Uh, they took the machine out of the arcade I used to play at. I don't know why, but um, they took it out. And um, and I, I don't know how to say this, but I think it's Cycross. Seacross? I'm not really sure how to say that. I think it's Cycross. Uh, it's kind of like a racing, shooting type game. That's all I really remember. <laughs> um but yeah, it's, I didn't know they actually made an NES port of it, so it's actually pretty cool. Uh, the label is a little messed up here at the corner, as you can see. But overall, it's not too bad. Condition pretty looks pretty good. So that was um, that's everything for that day. Um, pretty good ones in there. Uh, the the Super Nintendo one I actually didn't want to get, but you know I, I kind of decided to get it anyway because I actually heard it was actually pretty good. So I'll give it a shot, I guess. Alright, uh, I guess we'll... Yeah, let's do this one. So Okay, so two days ago, uh, I got two games here, uh, both for NES as well. Um, one of them I got from a store, the other one I got from uh, someone at work. Um, I guess do one from the store. So from the store, uh, this one was kind of a toss-up. I was thinking maybe, no, eh, eh, I didn't know which one. Uh, so I had to get it anyway, um, just because I never see it there. Uh, the store usually sells like 4 or $5.00. Uh, for games that are not as expensive as, like, say, Castlevania or Mario or something. Um, so this one was, like, actually $2. Or, so yeah, $2. So um, it's a it's a party game. Uh, there's two games, and it's both in one. And that's Short Order and Explode. 
the only thing is though you need the power pad which you can see right there power pad required uh, I do not have one a power pad right now um, I might get one in the future uh, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of just one of those games where I kind of got it because I never see it. And I've seen it like once, and I was like four or five years ago. And I've never seen it again. So I decided just to keep it, uh, keep it, to get it, I mean. So, you know, it might just sit in my stuff. I don't know. I haven't decided to do with it yet. So, um, and the last one, yes. Yeah. So, someone at work uh, was selling some of their stuff. And they actually had a couple games they had left. Uh, other games didn't really struck me. They were kind of just cheap games. I could get them anytime. One of them I did get, and I've been looking for it for a while. I pay him five dollars for it, five dollars for this game. Um, and he and he took it. I was surprised because I didn't actually think he was going to do it. But uh, and that would be uh, Castlevania Two: Simon's Quest. Uh, I now have the first and the second one. I'm just now missing the third one. Uh, and the third one I heard is actually very, very expensive. So, I don't know. Maybe I might get it. I don't know. But, uh, you know, pretty good for a 20 $25 game. I get it for about 5 $7. I think it was 7 I forget. It was 5 or 7 bucks. I paid them for it. So, happy about that. All right. So that was everything uh, from the past few days. Uh, this stuff here I got today. It was a mixture of everything. Um, a little bit of everything here today. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess I'll start with NES. So I got it from the NES. Been on my list for a while. And that is Mickey Mousecapade. Uh, it's, it's a platformer, like a Mario game. Uh, I have heard it's very, very hard. Uh, I don't know. I've actually never played it. I've only seen it a few times here and there, but I've heard from people that it's actually pretty hard. So I'll give it a try later on. I hope it is because I like playing challenging games sometimes. So I guess I'll give it a try later on. See how it plays. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll do this one. Uh, so this one is for 64. I finally found one I've been looking for for a while, and that's NFL Blitz 2000. Uh, apparently this is actually the third installment on the 64, or just in general for NFL Blitz games. Um, apparently there's another one. Uh, I have the first one, NFL Blitz, obviously, and apparently the third one is 2000. I just thought it was just NFL Blitz, and then the 2000, and I know there's a 2001. Uh, I did not know there was one before this, so, you know, maybe I might find it here, or who knows. I might find it someday, but I finally got the apparently the third one. So uh, I have played Blitz before, not 2000, but I always did like the Blitz games. Always my favorite. Um, so I know I've got fun with that one. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. So I don't really pick up Game Boy uh, or Game Boy Color games much anymore, just because there's not really many out there I want anymore. I got most of the ones I want. And a lot of the other ones are kind of expensive, like the Kirby games and stuff. So I don't, there's not really many. Uh, I did get two off my list I've been wanting. Um, and that would be, I guess this one's Game Boy Color. And it's uh, Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers on the Game Boy Color. Uh, I know there's a 64 version of this, and I can't find it. I saw it at a store, and now I can't find it. I think it's probably sold. But, you know, I finally got the, uh, the Game Boy Color version, so... Hopefully, it'll. Um, hopefully, it'll be good. So I'm sorry, I thought I saw something on it, <laughs> but yeah, I'm hopefully it'll be good. Uh, and then for the original Game Boy, uh, I got a black uh, cart. I never really get. Uh, usually, never really in color, but this one's in color, and this one is Gex Enter the Gecko on the Game Boy. Uh, I never played Gex ever, so pretty. I'm pretty interested to find out how Gex actually plays, so, you know, I guess I'll give it a try later on. Um, let's see here. Okay, uh, I got another one. I got a PS1 game. Uh, it's been a while since I got one. Um, and this one's actually in really nice condition. I'm actually very surprised, but it's called Speedball 2100, The Future of Sports. Uh, I saw this cover, and at first I thought it was rugby. I don't know why, but for some reason it got me the, the thought of rugby. Because um, the guy's reaching out for a ball. So I don't really know anything else but that. Um, it is complete, as you can tell. Uh, the the disc actually looks pretty cool. It looks like the actual ball 
if you can tell. So, so it's pretty cool. Um, whoops, I almost lost it there. Uh, the disc is in nice condition. There's not even a scratch on it. Um, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Uh, apparently, it's it looks like a. Um, I don't really. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what to call this one. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it plays like a a version of foosball, maybe because that's what it looks like from back here. But it, I can't really tell. So I don't know. I guess we'll give it a shot. It's definitely interesting though. So. Um, so for the original Xbox, I never really buy original Xbox games anymore, just because the ones that are out, the ones that um, are out now, are kind of dumb. And you know, I grew up with the original Xbox, so when I think of it, I kind of get sick of it. Just even thinking about it, I'm kind of just like, eh. But um, I decided to pick this one up anyway. Uh, I've been looking for it for a while now, and that's MX versus ATV Unleashed. Uh, it is complete as well. Has the manual. And the disc uh, is pretty good. A little scratch. Pretty light, though, but you can see it. It's not too bad. So, um, it's the second one in the series. Uh, I've said before, I'll say it again. I still say the first one's better, MX Unleashed. Uh, this one's actually pretty good, but I still say the first one's better. Um, but yeah, so I got that for the original Xbox. And the last one I finally got, been on my list for about... A year and a half now and I finally got it um, I actually it was the it, this game was actually there before I just never felt like picking it up because I don't know I just didn't really feel like it but I finally got it and it's Bomberman I think it's Jetters I want to say it's Jetters I, I keep thinking Jeters when I think of it but it's Jetters um, it is complete as well uh, there's a manual in here there's also like a I don't like a what is this like a guide or something or what is this Oh, a precaution booklet. <laughs> well, that was a guide. Uh, the disc, pretty good. It's not a scratch on it. It's in beautiful condition. Um, this game was actually ten bucks. Um, I actually seen this game is starting to go up in price on eBay. Uh, I was looking up last night about it, and uh, they apparently this game actually goes for about twenty five now. Uh, so I was actually surprised to find it for ten. So um, sealed wise, I have not seen sealed. But I will say this game has shot up in price. So if you do find one for like, let's say, 15 it's pretty good. So I would jump on it if I were you. So being a fan of Bomberman, you know, I've, I've played Bomberman on the 64, and I, I loved it. And I always did like Bomberman to begin with. So um, so it's cool to have it on the GameCube now. So now I just need the other one. <laughs> so, But that's it, guys. Uh, pretty short video this time around. You know, usually they're like 20 minutes long, but... Uh, you know, and I'm sorry about the 20 minute long videos. You know, I don't I don't mean to do it that, but you know, it's it's hard when you try to talk about a game, you know, within like a minute. It's pretty difficult, but over time it'll get better. Um, uh, let's see, anything else? I think there's one more thing I wanted to say. Um, oh yeah, tomorrow uh, there's a game coming out. Uh, I thought it came out today. Uh, but apparently, cause out tomorrow, and I didn't realize. I thought today was the 18th, but uh, tomorrow is. Um, what is it called? Uh, Killing Floor 2 for PS4. Uh, I've pre-ordered it. Um, I meant to show you, but, you know, apparently it hasn't caught till tomorrow. Uh, basically, it's, uh, if you play Call of Duty Zombies, um, it's like playing Call of Duty Zombies with the elements of the zombies from Dead Space. Um, so it's kind of like the mixture of both, like the Call of Duty Zombie concept with the zombies of Dead Space. So... I've I've been actually looking forward to it. You know, I've I showed some friends here and there at work, and some friends I live around here, and they look interested. So maybe I'll hopefully get a party going or something. Um, add me on Instagram. Um, you know, I always post videos of videos. I mean, pics. Sorry, of what I get throughout the week or something happens. Um, add me on PlayStation Four. I'm on there. Um, I'll, I'll put them in the description below. Um, for names on both. Um. Like I said before in the last video, I might be doing Facebook. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided yet. Twitter, maybe. Um, I will do, do Twitch. I have decided I will be uh, streaming games now and then, uh, especially of Killing Floor. I will definitely do uh, Twitching videos on that, definitely. So um, for I need to set up the account and whatnot. So when I do make a name and whatnot, I'll, I'll put it in the description on my next video. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know. 
definitely beefed up a lot of my NES collection now, so pretty happy. Um, hopefully, I'll get some better games in the future, but for now, this is pretty good. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.